A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 16th of October. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 98, Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands. And let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Our reading this morning is from Ecclesiastes chapter 22, verses 6 to 22. Like music in the time of mourning is ill-timed conversation, but a thrashing and discipline are at all times wisdom. Whoever teaches a fool is like one who glues potsherds together or who rouses a sleeper from deep slumber. Whoever tells a story to a fool tells it to a drowsy man, and at the end he will say, what is it? Weep for the dead, for he has left the light behind, and weep for the fool, for he has left intelligence behind. Weep less bitterly for the dead, for he is at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Mourning for the dead lasts seven days, but for the foolish or the ungodly it lasts all the days of their lives. Do not talk much with a senseless person, or visit an unintelligent person. Stay clear of him, or you may have trouble, and be spattered when he shakes himself. Avoid him, and you will find rest, and you will never be wearied by his lack of sense. What is heavier than lead? And what is its name except fool? Sand, salt, and a piece of iron are easier to bear than a stupid person. A wooden beam firmly bonded into a building is not loosened by an earthquake. So the mind firmly resolved, after due reflection, will not be afraid in a crisis. A mind settled on an intelligent thought is like stucco decoration that makes a wall smooth. Fences set on a high place will not stand firm against the wind, so a timid mind with a fool's resolve will not stand firm against any fear. One who pricks the eye brings tears, and one who pricks the heart makes clear its feeling. One who throws a stone at birds scares them away, and one who reviles a friend destroys a friendship even if you draw your sword against a friend. Do not despair, for there is a way back. If you open your mouth against a friend, do not worry, for reconciliation is possible. But as for reviling, arrogance, disclosure of secrets or a treacherous blow, in these cases, any friend will take to flight. To the bidding, Lord, hear us, the response to our prayers is, Lord, graciously hear us. Rejoicing in our fellowship with all the saints, we make our prayer to our gracious God. For your grace revealed daily to us through the saints and through those who we admire and seek to emulate. And for every way in which our faith and that of those we love speaks to us today. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
that following good examples we may hear afresh your call to holiness of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That we may persevere in prayer and seek new life and truth from your word. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That with all who are anointed by your spirit, we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. O God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you very soon. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.